Alright, made it up to Deluge Lake. Found a cool little cabin here. So we're just kind of going to use this as our little base camp zone. The guys are digging in a nice little spot for the Mega Mid. Actually getting ready to move it a little bit. Pretty easy hike in. I mean, not easy, but um, not ridiculous. Except Aaron tried to empty himself of blood before we got here. How you feeling, Aaron? <laughs> Good. All right, I'm gonna get some water. All right, All right up a little shoot here. I'm talking to my GoPro. And uh, yeah, the snow's a little more rotten than we were expecting, but getting close to sunset, and that's kind of what we're looking at. Real soft a little saturated not ideal but not too bad so we're going to transition the guys are transitioning here maybe try and get a shot in here and work our way down there's a couple other a couple other shots in there too here now um, we're actually on the dividing line of uh, Eagle County Summit County if you look that way that's the Blue River Park in the front range distance. Arch is over there you probably can't see him in the rocks he's gonna ski this bowl right here and uh, I'm gonna shoot him I just have like a single turn shot of him with this giant I believe this is Palomino right here giant peak in the background and he's gonna ski right there and then Aaron and I are going to Ski this line over here, which looks pretty choice. Let's draw all the way down into that basin there. So we'll see how that goes. So we had a little bit of a Disaster, my uh, 1424 is all the way at the bottom of this couloir here. Not real happy about that, but uh, what can you do? I thought I had it super protected. I have no idea how it popped out, but uh, it did. So we'll cross our fingers and hope for the best here. Hopefully it's still alive. In the meantime, I'm gonna get a photo. Okay, come on up, fellas. I'm getting a shot now without the wide angle. I'll have you guys kind of come through here, but I needed that super wide view. Oh, I thought you played baseball, bro. I know! You're like, I'm gonna be a hero! I'm oh, sorry, Liam. So, gonna go a little jog hard left and see. Ride the shadow. In yeah, there. exactly. But like, kind of come from the shadow and then angle back from left to right through there. issue here is that uh came out for our afternoon shoot and ski and this uh what we want to ski and shoot it's ripped out pretty big i don't know if you can see it over there but pretty sizable wet slide not something you want to be a part of so now we're trying to figure out um what to do we'll see Well, the warm temps definitely uh, had the mountain falling apart on us a little bit, but uh, it worked out. We found a different line. It wasn't quite what I was hoping for, but it was actually pretty good. We got some really nice shots out of it. And uh, 
And we stayed safe, so I'm very happy about that. Back to the old Grab I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a couple pretty big wet slides over there on the far slope. And uh, that was kind of right where we originally thought we would be, but it really got warm today. It just, the heat cranked and obviously did its number on that slope. Um, this slope over here just fades slight bit more to the north, just enough to keep it from falling apart like the other slope did. So that's what we ended up skiing. We got some nice shots. Pretty psyched. Alright, so this morning our first objective we couldn't quite get to, it didn't feel like it really froze. Um, so we came down the valley a bit and found some cool little mini golf, some lines that face a little more north than east and they're nice and hard. So um, we just punched up this line here and skied that and then we're kind of in the middle and Adam's going to ski a pretty crunchy little turn right in there. We've got a nice backdrop and then we're going to go back up that pace and see about skiing some corn. So, that's the plan. So <clears throat> much cooler day. Uh, we've actually been wearing our down jackets most of the afternoon. So we're feeling good about trying to try our uh, objective from yesterday, which is over here off this vertical cornice. So we're gonna go give that a shot and see what happens. Hopefully we get a photo out of there. Tonight's concern isn't the heat and avalanches, it's clouds. It's pretty cloudy out, so we'll see. Well, once again, we were kind of shoved off of our objective. Uh, the snow was super saturated and way wetter than we anticipated, even though it was pretty cool all day. And uh, and we just bailed. I was nervous about it sliding to ground. I mean, it slid to ground here and it slid to ground there. So the, uh, the good call was to not get out there. But now, of course, the light is perfect and it's just completely taunting me. And that's my shot. I would have been a little higher, of course, but uh, it's just heartbreaking. morning here and uh, we we're gonna go up and ski Grand Traverse Peak up yonder but as it turned out we got no freeze overnight at all um, so that kind of had us a little bit worried so we've been battling heat and wet saturated snow uh, for the last few days and with no freeze overnight that really just kind of kind of made us decide not to uh, to get out get up there this morning also we're worried about getting out of here if it's not freezing up here then the uh, snow down low could be kind of disastrous um, and we don't want to be post holing through chest deep snow for a mile or more um, yeah so we're just gonna pack up and head on down the mountain <laughs> 